Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 11th, uh, 2019. It's 5.45 a.m. in the morning. And uh, here in the United States, tomorrow, Sunday, is Mother's Day. I am using OBS Studio for this. Um, A lot of people have recommended uh, recommended it, and I've messed with it a little bit, used it a little bit. I'm using it a little bit more today. Uh, <clears throat> I just tried to get it to live stream, which is a, a big thing that uh, uh, that it's good for, and uh, wouldn't work for me this time. <laughs> so. Uh, so this is sort of a test. I believe the audio is working okay. I had a lot of, uh, on the test, I had a lot of background noise. And I went in and there is a setting for, in fact, they have several, uh, for noise reduction or whatever. And that, it appears to be working. We'll see. Uh... I paid for some themes that would work with it. Uh, OBS. I haven't figured out yet where to, you know <clears throat> how to integrate them in. I looked for you know for dragging them to a folder and all that kind of stuff. Couldn't find. I, that's a while back. It's. Uh, I think beyond export is the, let's see if they show here, um, uh, where this, this is the folder, this is not, where it's, this is just a folder they're in, uh, preview packages, maybe that's, yeah, okay, this will give you an idea, oops, except it's on the wrong screen, let me see if I can drag it over. Let me make it smaller and drag it over. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> this gives you a little bit of an idea. Oops. So, you know, this would show up around the <clears throat> frame, all this kind of stuff. I have no idea where to drag it, though. Uh, I thought when I got it that there would be... Uh, You know, like when you're using a word, uh, uh, say a video editor, you know, there's a, to import your files or whatever, nothing here for that. Uh, video sync and, or audio seems to be good. Um, So I'm going to spend more time messing with this and try to get it try to get it right. Of course, they have there are a ton of videos on YouTube uh, showing you and telling you how to do these kind of things. So I guess I need to watch some of those videos instead of watching uh, cat videos and things. By the way, let's see if this is. Uh, let's go to, well, let's go to YouTube. Okay, let's go here. I want to show you um, here on my main page, you know, my YouTube channel page, which very few people really go to that. We go, you know, we go to YouTube and then we get these either a notice because we have subscribed or we have things that they think we like showing and that's where we spend time, I guess. Very few people really go to the channel page. But here on the right-hand side are, uh, and of course people have, you know, we have some choice of how we, uh, we don't have to have this, I don't believe, you know, recommended channels, but I've got PBS NewsHour in there, The Young Turks, 
getting a little tired of the young Turks. I may be taking them. I don't go as often now. Uh, anyway, the uh, Twit Network. Uh, this uh, girl in China, young lady in China, uh, she admits that she had uh, major <laughs> improvement in her breast. And, you know, uh, this guy does uh, videos on cameras, or, you know, YouTube videos. He's written some books, and especially he's interested in a lot of the uh, Panasonic cameras, and I have three of those. Uh, and I like all this stuff this guy does. Uh, today I found out the top 10. I don't have these other uh, things in here. Now here, popular channels, I don't pick those. Uh, you know, YouTube picks, and I don't know how they how they decide whether they're those of you who come to my site if you watch a lot of these others and that becomes how, be, how it becomes you know popular channels on mine um, have no idea how that works I think I have the ability to remove it but I you know I don't do that oh uh, Let's see, what else? A little bit of the news, and we'll bring this to, let's see, is there, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, by the way, let me do this. Uh, this is what YouTube Studio, the control panel, looks like. By the way, I now have, uh, I've gone to my main monitor, which was 4K, and I've, I'm just using it at 1080p. And then I added another one of my, I have about four or five <laughs> monitors on the floor. And I put another 1080p monitor here on the side. And uh, that gives me the ability to, you know, have this where you don't, you know, you don't see it. But I do, and that way I can, you know, get an idea of the video. I can see the uh, audio level. Uh, stuff like that and it's over here either way you have no reason to that you need to uh, you know be seeing it so a quick you know me quick little looking here at the CNN page Giuliani I cannot believe the uh, you know it's too bad that but well every president you know it's too bad that Donald Trump you know he said he was going to, um, you know, going to appoint the best people, the very best people, the very, these will be the very, very best people. And he's actually appointed, everybody that he's appointed has been the worst. Um, you know, they have no business <laughs> being in government or anything else. It's too bad. You know, <clears throat> if I were a president, and I think, I wonder how many of these other uh, can't you know I know of course part of the problem is when you're running for president you have people help you and have, and in return you know hey you know you you help me in this area and then you know like if you donate money well you, you know you'll be an ambassador you know uh, loan me money and you'll be the you know or not money but could be anything, you know, help with uh, help with raising money for my campaign and you'll be made secretary of the treasury and all this. I understand, but it, it's too bad that when somebody's elected president of the United States, that it's too bad they don't come in and actually pick the best qualified person, even if they're somebody from the you know from another party you know pick of course now it's our system is so messed up it you know you come in as your press say you're a Democrat you come in and you need a secretary of the treasurer okay if Republicans were really and maybe there are a few that are not 
uh, crazy for Cocoa Puffs or whatever in their brain or something. You know, Secretary of Treasury, okay, pick, uh, pick a Republican economist who's, re you know, respected as Secretary of Treasury. Uh, Secretary of the Treasury. Okay, you need a Secretary of Labor. Uh, pick a, doesn't have to be the party, you know, but pick, say, pick a Democrat who's uh, been a, a labor leader or, you know, whatever, somebody that's, a, you know, make him the Secretary, uh, you know, of Labor and pick the best, the best people. Now, the only thing you'd have to do, and nowadays, I think in a in the past, maybe it would have been easier. Nowadays, that there is such a, oh, you know, crazy division and hostility towards the other side that because you'd have to pick these people that you'd have to pick for your cabinet level. You know, pick the best people, Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever. But of course, those people would have to know, and you'd, you know, Okay, you know, you can have your opinion, but, you know, what's the president's policy? You're expected to support it and not do anything to undermine it. But, you know, you can have your own personal opinion. And, uh, but, you know, you can't, because it's the cabinet and you're supposed to work, you know, work together or whatever. But uh, our thing is so messed up. Uh, I believe that Abraham Lincoln, uh, in fact, I know from, well, I don't know, I wasn't, I'm old, but I'm not that old. He actually, uh, President Lincoln, picked people, uh, even people who were opposed to him, you know, that, and he put them in the cabinet. I think there was some talk that maybe he had him in the cabinet, so so he could keep an eye on him. Uh, but, uh, and then of course, when Lincoln was assassinated, there was a lot of uh, people thinking that some of these opponents of his in the cabinet and uh, whatever, that may, maybe that, you know, conspiracy theory, theories or whatever, but that they may have had something to do with it. But, Anyway, uh, not sure if you can hear the thunder or not. We've been getting a lot of rain here, not just in Fort Worth, Dallas area, whatever, but on you know, all across Texas. Um, Child leads active shooter training in PSA video. Hmm. A child leads an active shooter training in this PSA video. Today, we're going to be learning what to do in the event of an active shooter. Um, we're going to bring in a special guest. She's actually an expert on this, and she's going to be leading our team building event. When you talk out loud, make sure you can tell where you are and where you're hiding. Uh, I just can't believe all the school shootings. Uh, I went, <laughs> I went to Catholic schools. You know, other well grade school and high school. And of course I went to a couple different community colleges. But I mean, wow, of course I'm 78 years old. Uh, you know, there was no TV until I was about 10. First TV station came. So, and we definitely had no internet, no, you know, I just can't imagine the The kids of the young people of today, the things they know, things they can find out, and the danger they're in. Uh, like I said, I went to you know Catholic grade school and high school, and 
we, we didn't know anything about drugs. There was nobody. Now, I wasn't real social. I mean, I've mentioned that before. You know, I was kind of a stay-at-home person, even as a kid. Uh, well, not so much up till the fourth grade. Well, in the fifth grade, we, I, we moved. But up to, up to fourth grade, yeah, we, I was out all the time playing with the other kids, you know, and riding our bikes and doing all this stuff. But we did not know what, uh, what drugs were, even marijuana. We didn't know anything about that. And uh, now I knew about drinking because both my parents were, you know, alcoholics. But of course, it wasn't, you know, they, the first word I could spell before I started kindergarten was, you know, beer, B-E-E-R. I'm your, reminding you, medications. That's Alexa. I'm supposed to say it again. Well, I guess because the I... time is 4.50 a.m. I didn't ask that. I'm reminding you, medications. Did I say time? Oh, let me show you. I'm reminding you. Alexa, off. Let's see if this works. Um, I have a couple of the adapters. No, I have a couple of the light bulbs. I actually bought the light bulbs. Uh, let me, uh, let's do this. Go to Amazon. Go to orders. Let's see. This is everything I've ordered. Okay, where are the light bulbs? Okay. Wait a minute, did I buy those someplace? Don't see them. Did I just miss them? I know I ordered from Amazon. Did I? Anyway, I have the light bulbs that LED and in the base or whatever they have uh, the Wi Fi so that they can uh, be controlled. Now I can control them with the app on my cell phone. There's the app, the green one that says G E E N I. Let's see, you see it there? Uh, here's what it looks like. And I can adjust the lighting and everything, but let's, let's just uh, see if this works okay. Alexa, turn off bedroom lights. So it only turned off one. May need to work on that. Hmm. Alexa, turn off bedroom light one. Did you mean bedroom? Yes. Okay. I don't think it's going to work, so anyway. Well, the... Video didn't uh, suffer any by turning out that light behind me. Let me just turn it uh, back on. Now I can adjust the uh, the color and how bright it is and everything. Let's I'll mess with this one behind me. Okay, it's only on twenty six percent, so. So I'm going to move it up. Okay, that's all the way up. But I can also change it to the color. That's on red in the red area. 
So I'm just going to adjust it down here slowly. Yeah, I didn't, you know. So back up to red, but let's go to white light. Brightness 100%. But I'm going to go to scene, and I, I don't think it's going to show up very much here, but the scene possibilities. This is just a few of them. So now remember, I have the other light on over there. So I can put this on night. Put it on reading. Cocktail. Leisure. Soft. Blinking. And rainbow. Let's try that. Anyway, back to night. There we go. Just thought I would show that to you. Okay, back to... I told you about getting the battery for my Panasonic G7 that plugs into AC, so uh, I don't have to worry about recharging the battery if I'm setting it, you know. If I'm making a video with it, I don't have to be worrying about is the <clears throat> battery going to go out. I ordered in some Dura cells because I had a uh, smoke detector that was beeping. I ordered in this uh, shoe plate that the camera is on here. Didn't really need it. I have a four or five different ones, but I kind of like them. And I'm using the, uh, whoops, this one's wired. Yeah. Uh, Logitech G502. I returned this uh, microphone. I just could not get the, and it's probably my audio or just couldn't get the audio cranked up enough without putting it in my mouth. These containers I got, they're over there and they're about yay big and it has helped so much because I have so much, everything is in this room and it was on the floors, it was in the corners and I made to put a whole bunch of it in these containers. Now the only problem is if I need something I have to uh, you know, are you picking up the sound of this rubbing against my shirt? Uh, I do recommend, by the way, this, of course, everybody's different. Jovan Musk. My ex-wife is, you know, has to use a wheelchair. She's, you know, all the time. If she's not in bed, she has to be in the wheelchair. And uh, they just don't hold up because they're such, you know, they're just not made. They're not high, high quality. And I have the same thing with office chairs. They just do not hold up and it has nothing to do with our weight, by the way. Of course, I guess if we weighed 98 pounds, maybe, it, you know, on my one that you may have seen that, well, let's see here. That chair there, the hydraulic thing went out on it. And the chair I'm using now, which I had before, and it hasn't had a lot of use, but it's just, I think I paid about 49 or $59 for this one. And I just know it's not going to hold up very long. That's why I got, you know, that one over there. So, anyway, I'm going to upload this. And at some point, I'm going to 
me pull this over here. At some point, I'm going to figure out how to get this streaming video to work right. Like I said, now I, I believe I have used it. There are some YouTube videos of that are in the category of live or whatever that I made using this, but still, things not quite right. I just need to watch the uh, videos on how to get this properly set up. And then I, since I paid uh, for these templates, I should figure out how to get those. Maybe when I watch some of these videos, I'll show that. But also, uh, I believe I can go to uh, <clears throat> their website and purchase from them. Um, and I think those would be I think this is where they have vendors or whatever. And and I and I did purchase from a vendor, but maybe it's download. Maybe that's just for their software. Select your operating system. Oh, okay. OBS Classic is no longer supported. Oh, okay. They were there for a while they were doing the classic but they've gone to the uh, the OBS studio because a lot of people had trouble I mean, it uh, it was difficult and they tried to make their make trying to make this one easier okay I do not see I go back here okay I guess I did not purchase oh here we are supporters nope 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 this is we make a contribution. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching. Oops, I gotta find it now so I can stop it.